Hi, Rich from Mustangs to Fear. And I'm Michelle, his wife. What we're going to do today is show you how to heat shrink metal. Now there's lots of ways out there. You can go on YouTube and there's just, there's a lot of different ways to do them. Some of the ways work, some of the ways don't. Uh, propane torch, now that's not a good way of doing it. The reason being is because you're going to generate so much heat on this metal and that's not what you want. I'm going to show you here in a little bit. You want the smallest amount of heat that you can get. Um, then they've got metal discs that generate a lot of heat that's supposed to bring the shrinkage down and you cool with water. Uh, that didn't seem to work either. We tried that. So I'm always looking for better ways of doing things, but this is the way that I was taught 48 years ago from my dad. So what we're going to show you is how far this den is in. And we're also working with aftermarket sheet metal, which is entirely different than the metal I'm used to, used to work with, with 60s and 70s. So we're going to show you what this looks like in here and just show you how, how deep the den is so you can get a uh, general idea of what we're working with here. So it's, it's stretched pretty good. It's not the worst thing we've ever worked with, but uh, you know, a lot of guys would probably just grind that down and just put filler in it and just walk away from it. But we're going to actually try to bring this thing out a little bit so that really all we're going to have is just a small skim coat of filler on it and we're ready to block and prime. So, we're going to show you how you do it. Now, what we want to do is create the least amount of heat as possible in a smaller area. So I don't want, I don't want this thing to be any bigger than dime size. So we want to keep it really, really small. Now, if you don't have one of these, cut your, your regular hammer off and, and uh, it'll work great. So this is a real tight area I have to work in. So I'm going to work this from the inside out because the dent is on the inside. The other thing we're going to be doing, I'm going to be working with a serrated dolly. And Michelle will be holding that on there. So that's going to help draw all that metal in, rather than just a flat dolly. Then once I've shrunk that down a little bit, then she's just going to quench it just a little bit with some water. It's not a big deal. And we'll, we'll probably go in a circular motion to, to draw this dent in. So we're going to start with one small spot here. You have your dolly backwards. There you go. See, this is why you have an instructor, because you just never know what your help is going to do. It's cheap help. <laughs> Well, it's not really that cheap, but anyway, so here we go. A small spot, just about the size of a dime, no more than that. Okay. I'm not going to get it really hot. Now you can hear it hit. Now cool it there just a little bit. Okay. And we're going to go around it just a little bit more here. Okay. Okay, now we're going to cool it. There we go. It's going to go down just a little bit lower. Like I said, I'm trying to work a little bit of a circular motion. Okay. You know when you're hitting that dolly good. And that's, what, that's the sound you want to hear. So I got three spots in there right now and I'm going to come around here and join it so it looks like I have a fourth spot right here. Now we're going to cool that. See what we got here. I see we brought that out quite a bit. I'm going to do one smaller spot right there. 
which is going to be right in front of the, the four patterns that I have. So I'm going to do one smaller one right there. Ready? Mm -hmm. Get close. Yes. Okay, now you can see where that's at. There's no gap in there now. So really now what we're going to do is grind that down, put one small thin coat of filler on it, block it, prime it, and it's good to go. Hope that helped you, and hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.